Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have Masters of the Universe Retro Stinkor, the evil master of odors. And it says the product has real smell, it's fun, and it comes in that nice little blister card, and it's even unpunched. On the back of the package, we do have Mossman vs. Stinkor. The artwork looks phenomenal. It does say the sickening foul stench of Stinkor can bring even the mightiest of Eternia's heroes to their knees. Right below the comic, it does say modernizing and celebrating the original 80s Masters of the Universe action figures. And what's great is you got this smell for odor attack and then his twist of his waist like that retro feel for the back of this card plus all the figures that are from the waves and stuff like that that you can pick up it is a pretty awesome card and package makes me wish i had two of them to keep one on card and one to open one thing that's pretty cool that came with the figure is a little sheet that says remove and swap parts and it marks all the removable parts and I'm pretty impressed. They really want you to start like breaking down your figures and mix matching them and really having fun. I think this is a really cool aspect to these retro He-Man figures. Included in the package, we do get a nice little comic, a little mini comic. But Stinkor is only in one part right there at the very top. Now, the only accessory that we get with Stinkor is that classic blue shield. It looks good. It actually, uh, now looking at it, it looks like a blue nipple. Um... And it does have a handle on the inside. Stinkor, straight out of the box, does not have that patchouli oil smell to him like the classic Stinkor did. In fact, this is a little bit more... It is sort of disgusting in a sense. It just sort of like has a very menthol strong plastic chemical smell. And like with the patchouli oil smell, it's like, oh yeah, that's sort of gross, but we could tolerate it. But this is just sort of just nasty, strong, and chemical smell. I don't. Who wants to really deal with that? You know, it's it's you know people deal with fart sprays and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, that's gross. But this is just strong chemical smell. It's like, hey, let's just dip the figure in bleach, and everybody starts smelling the figure that way. No, it's. I, I just don't understand why they didn't just go the original smell route when there's definitely capabilities of making that smell again. That's that would be the biggest bummer out of this figure like straight out of the package that's the biggest thing that gripes me is i was expecting to sort of get that smell and like really have that whole nostalgia moment of when i first got stinkor as a child didn't really get the feel that with this one but the figure is still pretty cool it looks exactly like the vintage has a lot of uh different little details got the two-tone orange you got the red orange and the orange for his armor and uh the head looks like that classic merman head <laughs> looking really cool and uh the stripes and everything little little specks peak of black on mine but still very cool to have a modernized stinkor little furry orange bottoms red orange gloves and belts and then he's got his little orange feet here i have stinkor without his armor showing off what's underneath and you can really see how high these shoulders are and uh, i really wanted to see how the paint went but it didn't really continue going down his back it just sort of stops diving into articulation his head is on that double ball so tons of articulation attitude that you can get out of this full 360 I mean, lots of articulation. His arm can go up that way. Can do the full 360. No bicep swivel or anything. The elbow folds up this much. Can pivot at the elbow. Wrist rotation. And then, of course, we got the wrist bend. That's the same in the other arm as well. We get the waist swivel. He can do the splits. He can kick... Yeah, you can kick up that far. Single jointed knee. 
and it does pivot at the knee. Get the boot cut, ankle bend, and pivot. So a good amount of articulation out of a little He-Man dude. So Stinkor is pretty fun to pose around. I mean, he can hold his shield one way. I was trying to get the shield to sort of like fold around where his fingers would come out on the other side. And I, I don't think it's going to do that. Uh, I was trying, but I heard a little crack and I'm like, I don't want to break them. But uh, yeah, you can get them all posed up, ready to fight, which is, is awesome. I mean... The only thing that's really missing with this figure is if he had some sort of ab crunch. Uh, because, I mean, there's plenty of articulation in this dude. Now it's time for some comparison. And we got the new figure next to the retro vintage Stinkor. And you can see, they did a really good job modernizing a vintage style figure. The colors may not be 100% accurate. But to me, it's, it's good enough. I mean, it's a nice looking updated version of the figure. And I'm not a huge He-Man fan. I just have specific characters that from when I was a child, you know, it just, I, I have to have them. And Stinkor is definitely one of the ones I have because I have such great memories of when I first got the vintage figure and opened it up for the first time. So I am always going to be a Stinkor fan. And these newer figures with the modern articulation, the ability to swap out the parts, I mean, that's a pretty awesome thing to do, especially with He-Man figures, especially when a lot of them sort of share the same buck and parts and stuff, just repainted in different colors. I mean, it's genius. It's, it's a good idea, and they're doing a hell of a job with this line. Now, I got to give some kudos to Mattel for taking the He-Man vintage line of figures and fine-tuning the sculpts slightly slightly and given a modern articulation i know it's making a lot of you he-man fans uh you know excited as hell because they're really doing a heck of a job with these figures now i do have the revelation stinkor that's going to be coming so i'm excited to see what that's all about but for the vintage line or the master universe retro line however you want to classify it these things are awesome these are badass figures they're affordable figures and i mean they're I can't really say anything bad about it. They're just good, updated retro figures. And that sums up my unboxing and review of Masters in the Universe Retro Stinkor. If you like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up new to my channel. Hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel grow and develop. And hit the silver bell notification while you're at it if you want to know when I post up a new video. Go ahead and check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. Website's down below. There's a promo code as well to get free shipping on anything you see on that website and also check out toy coast pre-order group it's a facebook group you can join in for free it keeps you in the know with collectibles especially a lot of the imports like your sh figure arts uh storm collectibles figma three zero mofex i mean i could go on for all the imports that are out there so make sure you guys check them out join up don't be paying those secondary market prices on figures so always stay in the know with collectibles and most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a happy holiday.